I shouldn't watch that and feel bad. The people that made that f***ing scene should be millionaires. But they're underpaid, underappreciated, overworked, and treated like animals. When I'm watching Jujutsu Kaisen, Attack on Titan, Chainsaw Man, whatever else MAPPA makes, I shouldn't feel like I'm at a zoo. What do I mean by that? Imagine this. You're at a zoo. You see all these animals, whether you're by yourself, with a family member, a loved one, you're having a good time. Oh, look at the otter. Look at the cute little gorilla take it away from its family. <laughs> you know, like you're having a good time. And then you stop and realize, wait a minute, that gorilla was taken away from its family. That gorilla doesn't belong in the Bronx, New York. These exhibits are disgusting. These animals don't look well kept. They don't have freedom. Damn. This is depressing. Should I be enjoying this? Should I be having a good time? And maybe you do walk out of it with good memories. But then you have that, that feeling in your heart. Like, this is depressing, man. Like, should I be enjoying this? That's how I feel when I'm watching Jujutsu Kaisen or Attack on Titan Chainsaw Man. Or maybe when you're watching Hell's Paradise or whatever the fuck else they produce. Because it seems like they, they can't go a day without making a new anime. These animators that work on your favorite shows are being treated like animals. They're being treated like slaves, like robots, as if they don't have families and health of their own. They're treated like they don't matter. All that matters is their talents. The person behind the talents is non-existent. That doesn't matter. What matters is the money that comes out of the person's art and their talent. Well, um, last night, there was a lot of MAPPA controversy. This is actually someone within MAPPA that tweeted this which I was actually really surprised about. Throw your card key in the company trash can when you leave work. <laughs> Holy shit. And this isn't only in the anime industry. This is in movies, TV shows, video games, music. You hear about this all over and it's quite disgusting. We fail to realize, not us, but like the business suits, the people that run the show, they don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about who works for them. What they care about is money. That's all they care about. And they know that they could treat their employees like puppets. Like, yeah, 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 come on. No sleep for you. I want more bags under those eyes. Looking like a fucking grocery store. Here's another tweet I found that pretty much highlights a lot of it. The production of Jujutsu Kaisen has reached its breaking point. As of right now, apparently the episode, season 2, episode 17, isn't even finished. Everything after this week's episode is fucked. No animators are going to want to come back and work on JJK unless they are given time. You know what, man? Finally. The animators are getting sick of this shit. It's kind of like the actor strike. If you don't know about the actor strike, I'm not going to go all into that shit. I don't even know all about it. But the actors were fed up. They weren't being treated fairly. Now imagine this. I, I want you to really realize this. Imagine you created Pokemon, right? You created this global giant that everybody recognizes that is more popular than the name Superman. That's more popular than the President of the United States. Everybody knows what Pokemon is. Even my mom. My grandma knows what it is. And she's not even alive. Go figure. Imagine you create this billion dollar mega global giant, yet you're barely making a hundred thousand dollars a year. You're and but, but, but Nick, that's a lot. Not, not really. Compared to the talent that's been put out, compared to the sales that you're making, compared to the amount of money the IP is making, that's just pocket change. What? Pocket change? I wish I had 100,000. Shut the fuck up. The adults are talking, okay? These animators are the reason why what you enjoy is why you enjoy it. They're the reason behind all of it. Not these business suits. They just have money. That's their talent. That's their big passion. That's their big draw. But these animators are the ones that make the IP like Jujutsu Kaisen, Chainsaw Man, Attack on Titan as popular as it is. And before you say, oh, but Nick, the manga was just as popular before. When the anime is created, that opens the doors to so many fans, so many normies. You know how many Chainsaw Man things you see now? So much merch, whether it's Pochita, Power, Makima cosplays, people walking around with fucking chainsaws, Attack on Titan. You cannot tell me Attack on Titan was more popular with the manga 
than when an anime came out. You can't tell me that. When the anime came out, bro, the popularity probably fucking exploded. You know what I mean? It, it becomes more accessible for people like me that don't really like reading, and that's a lot of fucking people. All your favorite scenes in anime, you have to thank the animators for that. The storyboards, the directors, all of that. These are the people that make it special. But imagine making it that special and being underpaid. Not only are they putting in over, 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 over time, but they're being underpaid, they're being pushed beyond belief, they're declining in health, they're declining with family time. Some of them just had children. They're unable to spend time with those children. It's all of this stuff, and what do you get out of it? Your name is not even recognized. How many of you know the animators of episodes you like? It's a very small percentage. You could go, oh, but Nick, ah, ah, what about this guy? I know this guy, no. There's a very small, small percentage. Go to a normal person on the street. Tell them to name their favorite directors of movies, their top three. I bet they could barely name even two. Lucky if you get one out of them. And I used to be like that too. I used to love movies. I couldn't tell you who directed my favorite movies. That's just how it is. So imagine these animators putting in so much workout, so much heart and soul and passion into their work just to be unrecognized, underpaid and pushed beyond belief to the point where they're declining in health and spending time with their families. Imagine that. What are they getting out of this? Nothing. They're getting nothing but pain. They get to work on their passion, but what's the price of that? Now they're not loving what they do. I actually saw a tweet about that. Like, I'm looking for the tweet, I can't find it, but I think it was an animator that was saying that this isn't fun anymore. They don't want to do this anymore. Their passion, something they really love doing, they thought they were born for, their path, their destiny. They no longer want to do it because of this crunch, because of what these studios, specifically MAPPA, is pushing them to do and pushing them to be. Not human. That's what they're pushing them to be. Fucking robotic. You know, I'm watching this right now, and I'm asking myself, how are these people not millionaires that made this scene? Look at this shit. This is fucking art. This is beautiful. The wrong people are millionaires in these industries, man. The people that did this, look at this shit. Unbelievable. That's fucking talent. And look what these people with the talent are dealing with right now. Injustice. Now, what I'm about to read is pretty long if you have a TikTok brain, but it's very important and basically summarizes all the problems that are going on right now. Production committees commission studios to make anime, and studios are given certain time frames and contractual obligations. An example of such a contractual obligation would be JJK Season 2 has to be aired in 2023. This obligation would have been made with MAPPA when Season 1 was airing, or when it just ended in 2021. Season 1 ended in March 2021, and then animators immediately moved on to make the Volume Zero movie, which came out of December 2021. That would mean that animators would have had the entirety of 2022 and half of 2023 to work on JJK Season 2. Except what happened in 2022? Chainsaw Man happened. Chainsaw Man happened. <laughs> you thought you were going on vacation and having a little break? Nope! <laughs> Remember what I said about Atsuka's greed? What this man did was to sidestep the entire production committee an anime usually has and got the rights to Chainsaw Man's production for MAPPA alone. That means that instead of sharing the profits from collabs and Blu-rays, etc., with the production committee, like it has to do with JJK, with Toho, and Shoisha, and other investors, all profits MAPPA makes from Chainsaw Man goes to MAPPA alone. It also means that the entire production is funded by MAPPA itself, which is very risky. Chainsaw Man shares majority of its animators with JJK, by the way. So instead of JJK animators working on Season 2 after the Zero movie, they were made to work on Chainsaw Man Season 1. JJK Zero aired in December 2021, and Chainsaw Man Season 1 came out in October 2022. You understand that this is too short of a time frame to work on a season of an anime, right? And it was completely MAPPA's decision to do this too, not JJK's production committee. JJK's production committee assuredly gave MAPPA two years the time to work on season two, but Atsuka and all other executives that enabled him decided that they just had to take on Chainsaw Man and many other productions. So we took JJK animator staff's precious time that they should have had to work on Hidden Inventory, Shibuya Arc, and relocated them to work on Chainsaw Man season one. 
Atsuka's pet project because it was a popular manga that was booming and he definitely saw in Chainsaw Man the money that he missed out on with JJK because he had to share money with the committee. Instead, that is not JJK's production committee's fault. It's fully Atsuka's and Mappa's executive's fault. Fuck that man and Mappa's board. Don't you understand how fucked up this is? These time frames are ridiculous. They are inhuman. You're asking for normal people, like you and I, to do what nobody else can do. Pushing them beyond their limits. Risking their health, risking their relationships, their lives. For what? For money? For something that doesn't matter once you're dead? I understand that money is essential for living. For living a good life. Not all the time. But all of us want money. But what's the price of it? This isn't the price of it. This shouldn't be the price of it. And it's the power of greed, which is deadly. And I like to compare the people that are obsessed with greed with the devil. Because that's what they are. They're devils. And they're treating angels like their own little army. Like little slaves. Little robots. And it's not right. My video isn't going to do anything. What am I going to do? I'm a YouTuber. All I can use is my voice. Hope that this reaches the right people. Hope that this makes the world, or at least my subscribers, or the anime community a little bit more aware of what's going on. Because a lot of people that are doing what I do aren't talking about this. They're not using their voices. They will continue to just react to anime and just write little tweets about it that reach 200 people instead of actually using their voice and their biggest platform to talk about it. Because without anime, these anime channels would not have a job. I wouldn't be able to make a living. So I'm here paying my respect and speaking on an issue that's a big fucking issue. Paying my dues, man. I don't even care if JJK goes on hiatus, to be honest with you. Only the selfish little children that have no idea what life really is or what grass looks like will complain about things being delayed. Let it be delayed. What do you prefer? Quality or quantity? And that's exactly what we're getting right now, is both. And it shouldn't be. We should focus more on quality than pushing things out constantly. Maybe I'm part of the few. I don't know. But if JJK was delayed another year or two, or five, whatever. As long as the animators are getting the love and respect they deserve, that's fine with me. Do I believe it should take five years? No. I think there should be deadlines. But if a deadline is risking someone's lives and health and making somebody crunch... Nobody should be crunched. Nobody should be overworked and have to put in overtime like that. Overtime in general. That means you're mismanaging. That means you don't know what's going on. You just want money. Hopefully, this changes things. These employees finally speaking up. And maybe a hiatus is necessary for a situation like this to be taken serious. And for drastic measures, things to be changed completely. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. I really wanted to talk about this. It's been a problem on Twitter trending since last night. And it's been a problem for longer than I've been a channel, actually. So it's just being more in the limelight now. And yeah, man, just paying my dues. Shout out to the animators. Fuck Mappa. And I'm talking about the business suits, not the animators and the directors and the people that actually have talent. I'm talking about the, the, greed, the greedy devils. The devils that should be locked up for what they're doing. And these animators should be millionaires, not them. They should be making all of the money. But whatever. That's it. Bye.